Ow. Ow. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil the Conquista Dork. It's my favorite time of the month. My absolute favorite. And you know what that means. It's time for Universal Yums. And this month's box is from Taiwan, which is really interesting because I know next to nothing about Taiwanese food or, or anything along those lines. So I'm super excited about this one. Let's... Oh. My, my, my computer's ringing things at me. So, there are Taiwanese tissue paper, as is tradition. And let's start, ooh, let's start with the one that's the most obvious and, and kind of badass looking. Lay's, look at that, it's Lay's. It's, but it's, but it's Chinese, I believe. Lay's stacks seaweed chips. In most part of parts of Asia, seaweed isn't something you peel off your skin in disgust at the beach. Nope, it's a part of their daily diet. Let us ease you into the world of seaweed in the most comfortable way possible with a stack of Lay's potato chips flavored with real bits of seaweed and a special spice blend. You'll get to merge the worlds of East seaweed and West potato chips for a delightfully delectable result. Okay, so... They're kind of, they're almost Pringles-esque. They're not in a, they're not in a tin, but they're all, they're definitely stacked on each other. It's not what, the, not the Lay's bag we usually come to expect. I'm gonna knife these things, make them open. There we go. Yes. Oh. It's not bad at all. So, they aren't as stacked as I thought they were. They are more traditionally lazy. Lazy, huh? See that? So, got a lazy potato chip. Although, that's Pringles as hell. It's got that same. If you like Pringles, it's got. I guess. Are they made by the same company? I don't know. But it's got, got kind of thicker crunch to them. They're all kind of. They're all kind of smashed up, which is fine. It's how I. I tend to eat them so by, the, by the fistful. It's really good. I mean, I don't know how much I can tell the seaweeds there. It's just a very nice flavored potato chip. I, on a blind taste test, I wouldn't have been able to tell you what the flavor of that one was. So good though. All right, what do we got? Okay. Noodles, oodles, Prince. I don't know what this is. Let's take a look. Prince Kimchi Noodles. The inventor of instant ramen noodles, Momofu Momofuku Ando, was born in Taiwan in 1910. After World War II, he moved to Japan, attended college, and started and failed at several different businesses. Like most people living in Japan post-war, he suffered from food shortages. Momofuku found it strange that Japan's Ministry of Health worked to absolve these issues by encouraging people to eat bread that was supplied for free by the United States rather than noodles, which were more familiar to the Japanese. When Momofuku inquired, the ministry explained that noodle companies in Japan were too small and unstable, and they could not rely on them for for a sustainable food source, so Momofuku decided to create his own noodle company. After months of experimentation at the age of 48, he produced the first bag of instant noodles called Chicken Ramen. Thirteen years later, he developed his most famous product, Cup of Noodles. Awesome. From there, deemed demand exploded, and Momofuku went on to live a very lucrative and long life. He died at age 96, crediting his longevity with eating a cup of noodles every day before he died. Uh, so, so, basically... If I had continued living the way I lived in undergrad, uh, then I could live forever. So these are these are ramen noodles. This is this is um, kimchi flavored ramen noodles. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna boil them up for you now, but that's really neat. I I've noticed this in the past couple of boxes. Um, in the Greek box, I believe they gave us a saffron tea, which is really neat. Like they're giving us stuff that actually requires some preparation, which I think is neat uh, because it's a nice little change from 
your standard chocolates and candies and, and chips and whatnot. And uh, I do love me some ramen, so I'm looking forward to that, actually. I'm going to give that one a, a look. What do we got here? This is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I can't find you. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Oishi chocolate corn roll. <laughs> I don't know why that's so entertaining to say. Try it at home. Join me, won't you? Oishi chocolate corn roll. Oishi chocolate corn roll. <laughs> Looks delicious. Um, the average person in Taiwan eats less than half a pound of chocolate per year. That's less chocolate than what was in your Poland box alone. Conversely, this the average American eats over 17 pounds of chocolate per year. So it shouldn't be a surprise that this month is exceptionally light on the chocolate items, except for this snack. Though we though we're not sure if this should even be classified as chocolate, made with soybeans, mung beans, buckwheat, peas, red beans, kidney beans, rice, and a bit of chocolate powder, you'll understand that if you'll understand that if we had chocolate like this in the US, we might eat less of it too. Oh, real nice. That's yeah. Thank you. That's that's what a what a what a what an introduction. All right, Oishi chocolate corn roll. I did it say? It didn't say corn uh, in the list of ingredients. See now I'm nervous. I shouldn't be nervous about chocolate. You shouldn't be. That's that looks very appetizing. Hmm. It's light. Kind of, um, hmm, what is that? Oh, it's O's. If you've ever had O's cereal, you'll see, and they, it's usually one of the less expensive cereals, and it's like oats and honey and stuff like that, and it's sharp as daggers. It'll cut your damn gums up, but I love them. And it's this flavor. It's th that's that's exactly what this tastes like. It tastes like the cereal O's. It's really good. Yeah. Not a lot of chocolate to it, but it's super good. Yeah. There's only one in the box. Damn it. Mmm. That would be another one of those. Oh, what do we got here? They lied, we got more. This is called a green tea choco roll. So, green tea's health benefits are well documented. It lowers the risks of diabetes, improves your memory, and has been linked to decreasing the risk of some cancers. The same benefits likely won't apply to these green tea flavored cookies, but there's one undeniable benefit we found. Eating these will make you happy. All right, so this is a green tea choco roll. Oh. Look at this. That that is a falling apart. That is an interesting shade of green. And it, it, it that is green tea. That is distinctly green tea. Kinda nice. Wow. I don't know if you can see. On the inside, it's kind of a Kit Kat wafer kind of consistency. But you know how if you've ever had a Kit Kat, the chocolate on the inside is that sugar, it's more sugar than anything else. It's 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 that wafery, sugary kind of chocolate. Think the same thing, but just strongly green tea. Like, I wasn't ready. It's not unpleasant at all. It's just I wasn't ready for that much. I was thinking green tea will be a little subtle. No. It's almost perfumey. It's kind of good, though. I don't... Yeah. I don't know if I could sit down and eat, like, a box of these or something like that, but I'm glad I tried it. It's really unique. It's very interesting. That's the green tea choco roll. 
Excuse me. And that cleanse the palate. <clears throat> Slant it. So good. Okay, what have we got next? What are you? Is this... Yes, I think it is. Um, they did make a point. They made a mistake in their box this month, apparently. So they included an errata for what... Um, they, they, they tried to include something called a YB Hawthorne candy, which has actually been discontinued. Um, so instead, they included... Uh, let me see if I've got... I want to make sure i got the right one. Is this it? Yes, here we go, here we go. Uh, this is CCC Soft Pudding Candy. Uh, made with fresh caramel and egg whites, it tastes exactly like egg puddings served across Taiwan's cafes and bakeries. Pudding was first introduced to the Taiwanese by the Japanese, who in turn were introduced to pudding by way of the Spanish who eat flan. All that to say, this is a sweet that truly transcends country borders. So, oh! Well, well, that's Turkish delight, isn't it? It looks it looks just like Turkish delight. So. It's firm, like an older Turkish delight. Very distinctly flan. You got that eggy caramel, sugar kind of thing. It's good. Interesting. Again, not at all what I would expect. That isn't, um, this one's throwing curveballs for me here. I mean, I've enjoyed everything I've had so far, but I haven't, uh, I, I, I haven't, I haven't got anything to compare them to half the time. Well, that's not true. I've got something to compare each one of them to. It's just different from what I expect. Like, I've got the Lay's I can compare Lay's to. Obviously, ramen, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, the other thing tasted like my favorite cereal. So, I have plenty to compare it to. I just didn't expect to be able to compare it to anything quite like that. So, that's that's kind of cool. All right, let me find... This little guy. This is, this is interesting. Oh, I think I found you. Is that it? Yes, I believe this is it. The... Taro mochi cake. Is that a little cake? I can't tell. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Is that it? Yeah, it's gotta be. All right, taro mochi cake. From 1805 to 1945, Taiwan was occupied by the Japanese. Japan's goal was to use Taiwan as a model colony showcasing the benefits of colonial rule. Japan lost control of Taiwan after World War II, but colonization has left a big impact on the country, for better and for worse. One of the better remnants of colonial rule is Japan's influence on Taiwanese food, illustrated well with this taro-flavored mochi cake. Mochi is a sticky, chewy Japanese treat made from glutinous rice. In this Taiwanese take on the classic Japanese dessert, They've wrapped the mochi in a sweet butter cake and flavored the mochi with taro, a purple sweet potato. Yeah, that's what this is. I don't know you can see. That's a, that's a little sweet potato on it. So, this is the taro mochi cake. Oh my gosh. It, it, it's so... It's weird. I mean, not unpleasant. It's just not... It looked on the inside of the bag, from looking on the outside, it looked like a gummy. And it still has that consistency, but it's kind of softer and more savory than I expected. It's very... I have nothing to compare this to. It's kind of starchy. It coats your mouth. There's something on the inside. There's a filling. Which is, I guess, that glutinous rice they're talking about. Very starchy, almost mealy a little bit. 
not particularly sweet, not particularly salty, kind of mild. Very subtle. I don't know if I like it. But it's interesting. And I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, taro mochi cake. Mm. I've never had a mochi before. I'm not. Mmm. Wow, you really gotta chew the fuck out of that. Um, I'm not a weeb. I'm not much of a, a Japanese culture guy. Um, so... So maybe if you've got more experience with mochi and that kind of thing, then you'll understand it a little better. You'll know uh, more uh, uh, of what to expect uh, from a lot of this, maybe. Uh, because uh, obviously Taiwan is, is uh, very Japanese-influenced, uh, which I didn't know. Um, interesting. Okay. Let's keep going. Yes? What are you? This is a little guy. And it's soft, so I think I'm okay to eat it now. Instead of saving it for the end like I've been trying to do with the hard candies so I don't have to spit it out like some kind of fucking savage in front of you beautiful people. This is a YB brown sugar milk candy. Um, this sweet milky candy perfectly encompasses QQ, which is a phrase used to describe a food texture that the Taiwanese love. QQ refers to something that is is especially chewy, so enjoy the incredible QQ of these candies as well as their sinfully addicting taste. So, brown sugar. Oh yeah, that's very brown sugar. In fact, oh my god, I'm no good at the taffies. Hmm. That is nice. That is QQ. Very mellow. Brown sugar, but not overpowering molasses to it. Just nice. Like a chewy Werther's original. I like that. That's good. Mmm. Excuse me. Uh, chew the fuck out of this. Alright. This is hard, so I don't want to eat this yet. We have two things left. Two. Alright. Mm. That was good. Alright. Haichu! Alright. Mor Morinaga Lychee. Uh, li oh, Licky? Is it It's lychee. Lychee. That's what it is. Morinaga Lychee Haichu. Taiwan is known for producing some of the strangest fruit in the world due to their temperate and tropical climate. You're likely, you've likely never tried yellow watermelon, milky pineapples, or the fragrant floral flavor of lychee. Well, that's about to change. With these lychee high chew candies, hey, one out of three isn't too bad, Haichu is a candy originally from Japan. The mango flavored was included in last year's box from Japan. I missed that one. Uh, but this Haichu is made in Taiwan, and we just couldn't resist bringing you a native Taiwanese flavor. So this is lychee. You can see a little lychee fruit. I feel like I was just reading something about lychee recently. About it being a really important food source in general, if not just overseas. All right, let's open it up. Ooh, goodness. It's like a pack of gum. Sit over there, please. There are 12 of them. So if I like this, I can continue to enjoy it. And if I don't, I can throw it away and feel like a wasteful bastard. No, I'll probably give it something. Wow. It's almost like pineapple soap. Yeah. Pineapple soap. But... Not in an unpleasant way. It's just... Imagine if pineapple was somehow more floral. Yeah. That's really good. I like that. The... The chew part of it. It's somewhere between 
taffy and gum. Like, it really didn't want to... It really didn't want to break up. All right, and this is the last one. And this is one I had to save because I could tell this is some kind of hard candy. This is CCC yogurt candy. I don't like yogurts. So this could be interesting. Um, Yakult is a probiotic yogurt drink that originated in Japan but was first sold overseas in Taiwan. It's been sold in Taiwan for over 50 years and is ingrained in every part of their national food culture. Wow. Uh, it's added to tea, included in most children's school lunches, and found in almost every convenience store in the country. You'll get a chance to try a bit of this fermented milk drink in candy form with these tiny treats. Ugh. And that's the thing, I'm just, I know some people really, they swear by yogurt, but uh, I, I can't do it. Look at that. That is not what I expected. It's, it's see-through. I expected more of a milky kind of thing. And it's just a yogurt container on the front. Like, it's no flavor, or it's just yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, um... That's not bad. It's, it, it... You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a pina colada candy. It's... Got kind of a milky, almost coconutty kind of consistency. But there's a kind of sharper, pineapple-y sweetness to it. It's good. It's real good. Mm. I'm going to put it aside so I can say bye to you fine people. Thank you for joining me once again for another pretty solid Universal Yums box. They have really... I got more. I got more left that I can eat. And I got chips over here. It's going to be a good night for old And ramen. Um, it's going to be a good good couple of days. Because let's face it, this will probably last a day. Uh, <laughs> uh, great. Great job. Once again, from Universal Yums. This is their uh, July 2016 box. Uh, Taiwan-centric. I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you're interested, please check them out. They're really cool. Universalyums.com. They're really neat. I'm not being paid for this for the record. I've had a couple of people ask. This is not a sponsored thing. I just happen to really enjoy their products. Uh, sincerely, uh, full disclosure, I just dig them. That's my full disclosure, that I actually genuinely like this service. Uh, gives you, you know, this is stuff that I'd never tried before. And I think I mentioned in the previous episode, there are certain candies and treats that I have tried um, in the previous boxes that now I eat regularly when I can get them at World Market or if I can find them online. Things like uh, Monster Munch from the UK is my absolute favorite uh, crisp in the world. So damn good. I, uh, I love uh, Stroop Waffles now because of the uh, Dutch box that they sent out. So who knows, you might find your new favorite candy, your new favorite treat. It's a really neat service and it's worth taking a look at. Um, I've got all kinds of fun stuff coming for you. We just put out a new uh, Assassin's Creed episode today. We are going to finish this one up. It'll probably go into August, but we're going to keep going. And I'm going to keep mixing it up with other stuff. You're still going to get your first impressions videos for me. I'm working on a new review for you for Oxenfree, which re was released in January. But better late than never. Uh, I'm also working on a best of the C14 dating game that I played. I'm going through it, I'm going to cut it up, and I'm going to make a uh, Greatest Hits video so you don't have to watch all, uh, I think it, <laughs> I think it ended up being seven or eight hours long. Uh, so you don't have to watch all of it if, you, if you're not, if you're not interested in going in for the long haul, you can watch the best of video. Of course, it's my best of, uh, 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 you might enjoy some of the jokes that I left on the cutting room floor. So it's still worth taking a look at. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm having so much fun doing these. Uh, still having fun. It has been a full year since I started this channel. I began with Sunset by Tale of Tales. That was my very first one, and I went from there into XCOM. You know, what the hell kind of a transition is that? But, it, it, but it's important to me. I, I felt that that was a good idea because it showed that I've got a lot of different interests and a lot of different tastes. So. Uh, I'm still having a lot of fun with it. Uh, happy first year anniversary for those of you who have been there from the beginning. Uh, all three of you. Uh, love you. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!